Effective conservation policies need information on marine life movement, migration strategies, and site fidelity of marine animals. Plankton Dynamics can help in deriving this information. Plankton are the foundation of the entire marine food chain and are a critical component of marine ecosystems. The health and productivity of all marine life ultimately depends on plankton. Studying the current state of plankton populations and their abundance, and forecasting plankton evolution, can help us to understand the dynamics of seafood availability, marine habitats, migrations and ultimately monitor and predict biodiversity. Phytoplankton, which are microscopic plants, contribute to the biological carbon pump by sequestering carbon and producing oxygen, and contribute to 50% of global photosynthesis. Zooplankton and other small marine creatures eat phytoplankton and then become food for fish, crustaceans, and other larger species, including whales. There are myriad of sensors and instruments that collect data via satellite observations, or via instruments positioned under the water, so-called in situ. When combined with modeling capabilities, digital technologies and real-time applications, they give us a terrific power to monitor changes in the overall biodiversity of the marine ecosystems, starting from plankton dynamics. From species distribution patterns up to movements to essential habitats, this data can be used to generate the information needed for reliable decision-making to better protect vital marine resources. In the Blue Cloud Zoo and Phytoplankton Virtual Laboratory, Researchers have developed services to understand the current state of plankton communities in a region encompassing the Northeast Atlantic. Thanks to this virtual laboratory, users can access gridded maps of zooplankton species, based on in-situ observations, as well as maps on phytoplankton abundancy, based on temperature and salinity data, collected by in-situ observations, matched up with ocean color satellite data. Users can use this service to paint a full picture of plankton dynamics and create applications to understand and monitor marine biodiversity. The information generated by such applications can be crucial for informing strategies to better protect and manage marine biodiversity, in alignment with ocean governance frameworks such as the Biology Beyond National Jurisdiction Treaty and the Marine Strategy Framework Directive. An example of such applications is the Wildlife Tracker, a geo-framework dedicated to the real-time assessment of marine protected areas MPAs, first implemented during the Blue Cloud Hackathon in 2022. The Wildlife Tracker for Oceans allows us to observe the relationship between the migration of whales and their food source, phytoplankton, thanks to real-time geospatial technologies. The software is able to retrieve live feeds from satellite constellations like Argos for animal tracking and Copernicus for ocean biophysics data, allowing this data to be visualized together on an interactive map. A graphic interface allows visualization of the movements of marine megafauna, such as whales, with a real-time feed. With the support of Blue Cloud, it is possible to include the hotspot of phytoplankton concentration at different depths. This Global Ocean 3D Plankton Concentration is also available in the catalog of the Copernicus Marine Service. In this way, the Wildlife Tracker can help marine scientists discover how phytoplankton hotspots influence the movements of marine megafauna. Additionally, it aids MPA regulatory authorities in properly delineating and protecting MPAs by including important areas of marine megafauna activity, particularly where phytoplankton hotspots overlap with the movements of marine megafauna. The application is now being adapted for integration into the Edito Digital Twins of the Ocean Platform, with the objective to make its openly accessible marine and related datasets available, as well as allowing for the replicability of the application for other marine species and regions.